Hey, everybody, we are live at Pace Studios in New York right now with John Paul White. John Paul, thanks for being here, man. I'm glad to be here, man. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah, dude. Uh, it's great to see you again here in New York. Uh, we caught the, the single lock showcase down in uh, at South by Southwest last week, which was my highlight of the whole week, man. I enjoyed uh, that show very, very much. You have to say that because I'm standing right here. In front well, of I have to say it because it is the truth as well. Oh, man. You and that. Cedric Burnside, Aaron Ray, and the Colonel, man, that was it was a we highlight. Were very proud, Papas. We, we definitely were. Yes. Yeah. It was. It was uh, we we've we've figured out that the best way to run a label is to stack it with people that we want to see at a show. So, so far so good. Good, yeah. good. Well, yeah, proud proud pop as you should be. It's uh, it's outstanding. Thanks. I love the entire lineup and uh, congratulations to you personally because the hurting kind is coming out on April twelfth on That's Single right. Lock on That's your right. your label Single Lock Records yes. and um, we're gonna hear four songs from it today. Can you tell us what's coming up first? Uh, first song I'm going to do is one that I wrote with Whispering Bill Anderson, who's one of my biggest heroes songwriting wise and, and artist wise as well. And I couldn't believe he answered the phone and agreed to do it. So, uh, and then we wrote three in really quick succession. So this is one of those three. It's called, uh, I wish I could write you a song. Thank you, man. Thanks. It sounds great. 
Thank you. Um, so you uh, talked a little bit about uh, the collaboration with Bill Anderson on yeah. on that one. Uh, mm-hmm. Can we talk more about uh, the the cast of characters who you collaborated with to yeah. create the Hurtin' Kind? Um, I did quite a bit of songwriting with all my heroes, and I you think I think at some point down the road I'll, I'm going to trickle those songs out into the world and maybe maybe do a do more of that and make a little compilation record, but. That song, another song called You Lost Me, is on the record that I wrote with uh, Bill and with Jamie Johnson. And then there's another song on there with Bobby Braddock that I uh, made a duet with Leanne Womack. So I just kept surrounding myself with people that I worship, including players, you know, and, and these guys all knew that I wanted to, I didn't want to make a retro record. I didn't want to make a throwback, dated sounding record, but I did want to you know, have those records inform what I did. Chet Atkins produced records and Bill Porter and Fred Foster, all that kind of stuff. So um, Pat Bergeson was one of the players on the record that's a certified guitar player, as guitar players will know what what we're talking about there, that uh, Chet kind of recruited out of New York and brought him to Nashville. And he perfectly suited what I was doing on this record, that more countrypolitan, country jazz, you know, crooner, singer forward, singer with the rose in his teeth and willing to, you know, be the troubadour. I, I really wanted to go there for this record, and so that's what we did. Cool. Well, it's uh, they've made all of the right decisions on the, on the record and all of the right mm-hmm. decisions in terms of the label as well, in terms of who you've surrounded yourself with. So, well, uh, thank you. We appreciate all of it, and we'll stay tuned to uh, to whatever happens next in awesome. your in your career and the single single lock as well. It'll be uh, thank you, man. Be fascinating to see how it all develops. Well, you're good friends to have. I appreciate you being being into what we do because if people like you aren't, then we're we're kind of screwed because you're kind of our test audience. You're the kind of folks that if you don't get it we you know we're doing something wrong so i'm well, glad to hear that yeah the pleasure cool. is two-sided we are All on right. the same page man so thank cool. you um can you tell us what you're gonna play second off of the hurting kind i am this song is called my dreams have all come true which is a song i love and i proved that by it being the first thing we trickled out into the world to give people an idea of where i was heading with this next record we didn't really announce there was going to be a record coming out but we just put that song out to you know, just as a little bit of a tease and also training folks to know where I was heading uh, for this record. And, um, and I dearly love it. It's, it's, uh, it goes there. You know, it's, it's not a song for early in the morning kind of thing. So now I've doomed myself. You know. No. 
nine what comes after I always wake up the moment I lose your love my dreams am all come true Like all good nightmares do The warning, the holding, the loving, the losing you My dream have all come true Ooh, the warning the holding the loving I knew what was coming, what my heart was choosing, the needing, the bleeding, the ending, the breaking in two. My dreams have all come. Thank you, thank right. you, thank you. Man, these are really great songs. Again, we appreciate you coming and playing them for us. Thanks, um, man. Can we talk a little bit about the uh, the importance of uh, uh, the community around Florence, Alabama, and the? Yeah. Uh, I know that this this uh, was recorded at Sundrop. At uh, was this the first project that was was this just recently put together? Um, it's that's not that's not second. the question. It's more about uh, the yeah, the but it, well, of that it's the second there. one that happened in that space. Uh, uh, Sundrop Sound, the little studio that uh, we use for most of the single lock uh, recordings, it actually was a ranch house just behind my house. And we outgrew it with too much gear and and uh, just a good problem. Um, so the house next to me came up for sale and we moved in. And so this is the second project there. Uh, Lyra Lynn's uh, duet project plays well with others. We did that was the first thing we had done in there. And then, so it was still really new and we're still figuring it out. But luckily my compadre, Ben Tanner, who plays with Alabama Shakes, he's label partner with me at Single Lock um, and studio partner with me as well. And he uses his ears really well, you know, so you stick him in a house uh, that hasn't really been converted much more than putting up curtains on the walls and he's really good at capturing great sounds in any space I put him in so he's the uh, he's the secret weapon you know? yeah. buildings are buildings it's usually the people in them that make them magic and and uh, I surround myself with as many of those people as I can and and then I take credit for <laughs> how good it is <laughs> And we were one of those people surrounded. We would be remiss if we did not mention the leather work of Mr. Uh, Mr. Johnny Fritz. Oh, yeah? On you like that? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I should have just took credit for that, too. Uh, Johnny Fritz is a, a, a good buddy and uh, made this for me. Uh, I, did, I didn't know it was even coming, so I had nothing to do with it. And he just crushed it. He's, he's fantastic, and he's one of the funniest human beings I've ever met and one of the best songwriters as well. I think sometimes his humor sh like overshadows some of the brilliance of his songwriting and I think uh, he's one of my favorites. He kind of makes me mad. 
yeah. was uh, was Ben involved in the? Uh, so you got you got you recorded at Fame as well, right? In Muscle Shoals, right? For yeah. this, uh, was Ben part of those sessions? Did his magic oh, yeah. ears come along with you guys? Yeah, and I met Ben at Fame. Uh, he was he apprenticed there, uh, assistant there under Rick Hall and all those folks. So he he learned from the best, and that's how we met. Was I'd be over there cutting like songwriter demos, and we were both young and. You know, like one day if we have a label, we'll do it different. You know, that kind of thing. Not ever dreaming that that would actually happen. So we've kind of been joined at the hip, I don't know, about 15 years now, I guess. Yeah. I haven't done a production without him yet. Dylan LeBlanc and Donnie Fritz and Penny and Sparrow, who we talked about. Yeah. Um, yeah, those have all been Ben and I both. Yeah. Yeah. And Dylan, Dylan played the backyard too with us uh, last week. So that makes Mex four. He's not bad either. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Very, very enjoyable week of single yeah. lock music, and uh, and it continues. Very enjoyable two weeks. Um, can you can you tell us what you're gonna play off yeah. of the hurting kind next? Yeah. Uh, if if you're just joining us, that everyone out on the internet, uh, the hurting kind is coming out uh, on April 12th on single lock, and uh, we're about to hear a third and a fourth song from it yes. as well. Yes, you are. And if you are just joining us, man, I was amazing earlier. So <laughs> I hope, you know, and this this fine Jefferson whiskey will make me play even better, right? Nice. Right? <laughs> I'm going for a sponsorship here. <laughs> All right. One can dream. This song is um, a song that, as I've said before, makes my kids cry, uh, which I'm proud of. Um, it's a song about loving what I do for a living and hating what I do for a living because I miss home a lot. I miss my kids. I miss my wife. And, and uh, they know that. So when I played them this song, I didn't really expect to get the reaction that I did, which was tears. And um, it made me feel good and bad at the same time. So, so here it is. It's called A Long Way Home. Here I go once again down the road that just never seems to end. If I don't, or if I do, well, I'll be damned my whole life through. I ain't leaving, I'm just taking.
taking the long way home to you I ain't leaving I'm just taking Can you tell us what is uh, is the, the band that you're taking out on the road? You start in the East Coast leg yeah. of the tour. Where else? Florence, Florence, Alabama, on April 12th, uh, release day. Uh, can you tell us what the uh, what the band looks like that you're taking out with you? Is it yeah. similar to to what we saw at the Single Lock Showcase, or is it uh, who's? It's exactly wh- that. Okay. Yeah, that'll be the band. So uh, Reed Watson plays drums in the band. He's also our label manager at Single Lock. It's a very it's a very small, incestuous town, so yeah. So he wears lots of hats, and they're on the internet right now. Florence is definitely in the comment section right now. Are as they? Well. Yeah, are they? Yeah. All right, I better not screw this up. <laughs> um, uh, so uh, Reed's playing drums. Adam Morrow uh, plays electric guitar. Been with me for quite a while. We have a new member at bass. Uh, Matt Green, my old bass player, moved up to uh, to the Pennsylvania area, and so. Uh, Shauna Tucker is now playing bass with us, and Shauna used to play on the Drive By Truckers. Used to play with uh, Peggy Young, and so, and I've known her for probably 20 years. She grew up in the Shoals, and and so that's that's a fantastic thing because I love her to death. Um, Todd Bain is playing steel with me. Todd is uh, an, an old new friend. He's from the Shoals, but moved off to Nashville, Murfreesboro, for quite a while, and. Played with Glossary, played with Lucero, uh, does a lot of stuff with Chuck Reagan. So he moved back to the Shoals, and I snatched him up fast as I could. And then uh, Kimmy Sampson plays fiddle, and any single luck record that has violin on it, it's Kimmy. So you've heard her plenty of times, and so it was easy for her to learn the material because she wrote it, so it worked out well. Um, so yeah, that's my band, and I'm. We'll do the East Coast, and then we'll, you know, at some point we'll announce a bunch more stuff that's coming. So we're going to be coming to a town near you, I would bet, over the course of spring and the summer. Cool. Well, I enjoyed it very much in Austin. Looking forward to you. are back here in town at the Bowery Ballroom on May 11th, uh, and then wrapping the, the yeah. Eastern shows at the Grand Old Opry on uh, on June 1st. So very. What a, that's a pretty good way to wrap it up, right? A lot of, lot of stuff to look forward to, man. Hopefully everyone who's uh, out there on the internet right now watching this, um, all the dates are, are up at johnpaulwhite.com. Please yeah. check it out. And, uh, Please do. Outstanding show. Um, and thank you for coming here and doing the, the stripped down thing. I absolutely love this arrangement as well. Pleasure. And uh, can All you right. tell us what you're going to play fourth and last off yeah, of The Burning Kind? I'll, I'll play the title track for the last one. Uh, this is the last song I wrote for the record. Um, and producers hate that when you the record's about done and you come in with a new song. But since I'm co-producer, I can get away with crap like that. Um, but it's a song that's you know, as all artists love all their works, it's something that it's, it's a little extra special and I can't exactly explain why other than I had the title and the hurting kind. I knew that was a song and I knew it was a song that somebody like me was destined to, to write because that's my idea of a great song is the hurting kind. So, um, but I didn't know what the song was about and I just kind of followed it and let it lead me wherever it was going to go and I realized as I was singing it that it was a song about abuse. And it felt like it was really more from a female perspective and I can't really articulate why, but I talked to my wife about it and I was like, is this a song for somebody else? And she's like, no, you, you definitely should sing it. And I, I listened to her, she has, she has really good, she's got a good barometer for these things. So uh, I love the song, so hope you do too. <laughs> Fallen 
under its spell Well, that's what happened When I looked into your eyes But you're the hurt and kind Yeah, you're so much for coming through and doing this we appreciate it very much and uh so that was four songs from the hurting kind it's coming out april 12th on single lock records and the tour starts that same day in florence yeah. alabama wraps up uh june 1st at the grand old opry coming back through new york bowery ballroom on may 11th and all That's of it's right. up at johnpaulwhite.com so uh man thank you very much enjoy the rest of the new york trip and enjoy enjoy home and uh uh thanks again man any next Pleasure. time you're back through we'd love to host you anytime it makes sense we'll be here doing this yeah. so i'd love to see you again well as long as you've got jefferson i'll be back there you go all right thanks man thanks man <laughs>